Sunday school. Let's pray for the children who are here. Okay, for this and come uh, in with this, okay? Yes. Uh, <coughs> uh, okay. Okay, uh, <coughs> second lecture uh, is on the accelerator physics, which is an uh, introduction to the accelerator physics, not uh, full the uh, accelerator physics uh, concept and uh, problem. Uh, it contains uh <coughs> in the introduction, le uh, introduction level, uh, because in particle physics we need some uh, concepts. Uh, which uh, come from uh, accelerator physics. Uh, we have to know them. Uh, in this lecture, uh, I will uh, mention on uh, these <coughs> concepts. Okay. Okay, let me uh, mention uh, on accelerator first uh, and types of accelerator, uh, design and simulation, uh, collision region, uh, and the main parameters of an accelerator uh, will be covered in this lecture. Uh, <coughs> let me remind you uh, the first circular accelerator, uh, which was uh, proposed and built by uh, Lawrence in 1939. <coughs> and the sketch uh, of accelerator here, uh, it's a uh, circular accelerator uh, and uh, it's the basic of cyclotron. Uh, in cyclotron, uh, the radius is not constant. Uh, as source uh, on the middle, in the middle, uh, image uh, a particle and it's uh, accelerated by two D's uh, applying an electric field uh, between the uh, D's and a, a magnetic field uh, which keeps uh, the particle in uh, an orbit uh, and the radius is not constant here. Uh, the particle has uh, uh, gained enough energy at the end and is extracted from uh, uh, one side uh, of the this, uh, design. Uh, we know uh, accelerator, accelerator uh, uh, from, uh, for example, uh, an electron gun uh, in PV set and CRT, cathode ray tube, <coughs> and the X-ray machine. Uh, in the filament, uh, filament uh, heats uh, the cathode uh, material here. Uh, sorry, one slide here. Uh, here, and the electrons uh, uh, is extracted from the cathode material. Uh, we apply uh, the voltage uh, to these uh, modules. Uh, for example, accelerating uh, structure. Uh, this, this is uh, kept in negative potential, and these are uh, in positive potential. Uh, electron uh, accelerates in uh, these lines. So, uh, uh, strikes uh, to the uh, tissue. This can be considered as a low energy uh, accelerator, but uh, uh, it's not used uh, for 
searching for the uh, structure of the matrix uh, from a CSV file uh, uh, flash uh, on the screen. <laughs> and we can uh, see uh, some uh, dark and uh, uh, light uh, patterns. Okay, uh, there is another uh, kind of uh, accelerator. Uh, they are uh, uh, long in length and uh, built in underground uh, and high energy accelerator. Uh, let me uh, give an example for this. Uh, for example, uh, LHC, a Large Hadron Collider. Uh, <coughs> it has a, a protons inside. Uh, and accelerates the protons uh, uh, in a circular path. Uh, for example, uh, a linear collider, uh, it accelerates uh, particles in a straight line. Uh, they are different in uh, structure and the uh, components of the matrix. Next. Okay. Uh, Accelerator is a machine uh, is, uh, using electric field uh, to accelerate the particles and uh, uh, it uses uh, magnetic field uh, to keep the particles in, uh, in the path uh, for, uh, for focusing them, uh, bending them uh, <coughs> and some uh, other uh, similar uh, purposes. Okay. In uh, high energy physics, uh, accelerators are used uh, commonly uh, for searching uh, the structures of uh, the matter uh, and the interactions of the elementary particles uh, uh, each other. Today, uh, we accelerate the stable particles, uh, for example, protons uh, and electrons. Protons has a plus uh, sign, uh, electrons uh, minus sign. Uh, <coughs> according to this uh, chart, uh, then uh, we have set uh, the accelerator part according to this uh, chart design. Uh, <coughs> ion, uh, neutrino, uh, etc., they are the secondary beam. We can obtain neutrino beam, for example, uh, from a, an accelerator. Uh, but how? Uh, first, we have to accelerate uh, an, a particle, a charged particle. Then uh, we have to hit uh, this to a target. Then we can obtain the secondary particle. Uh, and we can uh, also uh, <coughs> keep them uh, as a beam. In general, uh, circular accelerators uh, has a long lifetime for the beam uh, because we use uh, the beam uh, in, uh, in the turns, uh, but in linear collider, uh, we use beam uh, one time. Uh, we collide in a, in a point uh, and then we cannot use uh, after this, we have to dump it uh, to a place. <coughs> okay, uh, proton in uh, in the accelerators uh, because uh, it is limited by the bending power of the dipoles in the ring. Uh, we have to put uh, uh, dipoles uh, in the ring uh, because we want to uh <coughs> bend. It, it bends its uh, uh, direction uh, to keep it in a circular orbit. Uh, but in a linear collider, uh, we don't need uh, <coughs> these bending. Uh, so we need bending. Uh, uh, so we need uh, powerful magnets, uh, which uh, they should uh, which they should be in superconductors. Uh, it is necessary because uh, we want to reach to higher energies. For example, for LSC, uh, 
at 7 PV in 2010 and uh, 14 PEV in the next year. Then we need a powerful magnet. Uh, then we uh, increase the energy. Electron, uh, it is limited by the synchrotron radiation. Uh, in a circular orbit, uh, it changed its direction, uh, velocity, its velocity uh, changed uh, uh, according to time, and then it radiates uh, uh, photon. Uh, then it loses its energy. So, uh, loss per turn uh, is given by this formula. Uh, e is given in GeV, R is in uh, meter. So uh, left was uh, 27 kilometer, then maximum uh, 100 PEV beams uh, uh, were possible because of uh, uh, this uh, synchrotron radiation loss. For leptons in future, uh, we need linear accelerator. Uh, Beams uh, can be up to uh, 3 PEV, for example, uh, TILIC, uh, compact linear collider. Uh, <coughs> neon accelerator, maybe, uh, energy loss per turn uh, here, mu over mu uh, uh, to the uh, fourth power. Uh, then, <coughs> electron mass to uh, muon mass ratio is a small uh, quantity. Uh, you know that muon has a mass uh, 200 times uh, the electron mass. Uh, that's why its uh, fourth power is also smaller one. Uh, then uh, it is possible. Okay. Next slide. <coughs> uh, Okay, we can uh, accelerators, accelerator al uh, accelerate also the antiparticle, uh, but how can we produce antiparticle? In this plot, you see uh, a source here, for example, electron source, which is sent to the target, uh, <coughs> and it collides uh, with the target, and uh, electron and a positron. Uh, are produced uh, <coughs> on the right. So, uh, by putting here a magnetic field, we can separate uh, electrons in one direction and uh, positrons in another direction. So, we can uh, collect, uh, for example, uh, positron beam uh, and uh, focus them. Uh, then, we can make a beam of uh, positron. Okay, and then we can accelerate the uh, positron. Next slide. Uh, there are some uh, <coughs> accelerators uh, at CERN. Uh, they are all combined in a uh, uh, good uh, structure. For example, you see <coughs> here a Linux, uh, proton synchrotron, uh, and SPS here, and the LSD ring here. Uh, it starts from a source, uh, and then it is accelerated uh, to a circular accelerator, and then it is put onto another uh, accelerator, uh, and finally, for example, uh, the large uh, ring here. Uh, <coughs> we can also uh, put at the same time. Uh, two beams in a ring, uh, and then two in, in two pipes. Uh, then we can uh, collide uh, in some point. Uh, LSC uh, collides uh, proton beam uh, at uh, four points, uh, which are in the detector. For example, uh, in Alice, uh, in Atlas, uh, in LSCD, and the PM. These are the uh, four main detectors uh, in which the collision uh, occurs. 
uh, accelerators and detectors requires advanced and edge technology. Uh, for this purpose, there is a close relationship between that and that, uh, and uh, <coughs> it gives uh, some technological spin-offs uh, which can be used uh, in daily uh, life. Medical and industrial uh, <coughs> applications of the radiation uh, and electronic uh, compu computing uh, techniques and technologies, measurement tools, uh, new production and materials, uh, and also uh, a well known uh, 3W, World Wide Web, uh, are developed in the basic particle physics research as well. So, for basic research, uh, <coughs> we use uh, technology to build uh, a tool. And then uh, we search uh, some details uh, of the basic science uh, with that tool. Linear accelerator. In, in linear accelerators, uh, charged particles are accelerated through a straight line, like this one. <coughs> and uh, with the static uh, and RF field, RF means here uh, radio frequency. It's the frequency region uh, with the radio uh, wave. According to the Maxwell equation, uh, we can uh, comment uh, on the electric uh, field and the magnetic field. For example, if there is an uh, electric field changing in time, uh, it uh, produces uh, a magnetic field. So uh, the, for, uh, the formula for uh, the force uh, is given here. For example, F is equal to E times E. And if there is an electric field and a charge, then the force uh, acting on the charge is given here. Here we use the relativistic uh, kinematics. Uh, you see beta and gamma uh, factors here. Uh, and the momentum uh, uh, change given by this formula. Uh, and the kinetic energy change uh, given uh, with this one. So you see beam here. Uh <coughs> and the important thing is here, uh, Linux length and the gradient. If the gradient uh, is high, then you can accelerate the particles uh, in a short uh, Linux, in a short accelerator structure. If the gradient is low, then you have to build your accelerator uh, in a very long length. Okay, <coughs> an important uh, for circular accelerator, uh, kinematics uh, of the circular motion is given by uh, this formula. Uh, it's the uh, Derivation of the velocity. Sorry. Uh, Chris, uh, if can we go back one slide, maybe? Uh, RF frequency uh, is used uh, for uh, accelerating the particles. Uh, for example, in the circular uh, accelerator, uh, we have a, a turning uh, frequency for the beam. Okay, if we set it uh, to the same frequency, uh, <coughs> then uh, we can accelerate the particles uh, with this RF uh, field. Uh, res resonance. The resonance uh, cavities are used for uh, these structures. Uh, they, they, they are uh, working uh, at some high uh, frequency region, for example, uh, uh, gigahertz uh, and some uh, few hundred uh, megahertz. 
Oke. Dan uh, one slide back. Sorry. And the magnetic field uh, <coughs> is given here to keep the uh, orbit circular. Uh, we, we may assume, uh, for example, longitudinal part uh, much smaller than the transverse uh, uh, component. And then uh, we can obtain, finally, uh, the momentum is uh, given by uh, the D field uh, and the uh, rho, uh, the radius of the circular uh, orbit here. Uh, these are the dipoles uh, and the line showing the line shows uh, the D field here. Okay. Okay. <coughs> it's important for designing uh, an accelerator. This ratio, uh, this uh, relation is important for uh, also uh, designing and uh, quick uh, calculation what will be the uh, relation between them. So in relativistic case, we can make this uh, assumption and then uh, find energy of the beam in GeV is given by uh, 0.3 times G in Tesla and the rho uh, in meter. It's a uh, proportion factor, uh, conversion factor. Uh, for example, for LHC, 2 pi rho uh, is 27 kilometer. Uh, if you take the beam energy 7,000 uh, uh, 7, GeV, then P should be uh, around 8 tesla to keep the beam in a circular uh, orbit. Beam uh, oscillates uh, <coughs> in uh, its path. Uh, here you see dipoles uh, and the quadrupoles. Uh, they are in focusing and defocusing uh, structure. <coughs> we want to, uh, for example, we want to simulate uh, this uh, structure. Uh, we have uh, the differential equation second order differential equation for the uh, transverse motion. Uh, for example, uh, this one for x direction, this one uh, for y direction. And the k term is zero in dipoles. Uh, if they are in dipoles, then uh, they will be uh, zero. <coughs> and the, uh, this value uh, in FO in quadrupole, uh, focusing uh, uh, quadrupole structure, and uh, K1 is equal to minus uh, G over B rho uh, in uh, two 
uh, structure. Uh, this corresponds to the Gibson uh, structure. Beam optics uh, quantity <coughs> is determined uh, uh, by the uh, magnet configuration uh, in this pad. So uh, it oscillates through the ring uh, in this pad, and the bet beta function, uh, for example, or the optic uh, optic quantity here is shown according to the uh, length of uh, uh, length of the structure. Here you see uh, as Q quadrupole, uh, uh, they have minimum and or maximum, uh, which corresponds uh, to beta x, for example, for uh, blue line, uh, beta y for the green line. Okay. To uh, design an accelerator. <coughs> uh, we can make some algorithmic uh, uh, plan, for example, here. Uh, define basic parameters first, and then uh, accelerator design figure and optics. Uh, analysis of uh, local and general properties, uh, performance measurement, uh, beam stability case, then we can go back to uh, define again the basic parameters if we choose them uh, uh, not uh, well doing the job so we can adjust some of them and the geometry and the setup finally uh, these are the basic steps in the accelerator design process <coughs> okay we can design the accelerator elements also uh, for example source magnet rf cavities uh, Vacuum components, pyrogenics, uh, and they make uh, optic calculations, parameter tune, and etc. These can be done uh, by a computer, of course, uh, because there are many structures, many different uh, types of uh, equations to be solved. Uh, they were not uh, possible every time to uh, solve it by hand. So uh, there is also uh, special programs for this purpose. Uh, we can use them. And the beam dynamic studies, <coughs> simulation and design of accelerator, beam tracking, and control and run, uh, which are the basic uh, <coughs> steps uh, in the beam dynamics uh, study. OK. Uh, Beams uh, can interact uh, with the machine element. So how? Uh, they can interact with wake fields. Wake fields means uh, the <coughs> uh, field uh, remains after some effect when the particle uh, field is uh, here. Impedances. Impedance matching is an important uh, <coughs> point uh, with the structure. Electron cloud, inter intersecting element, uh, for example, from uh, booster to the uh, ring, uh, there will be two structures. They could be uh, very, uh, very well tuned. Uh, they are intersecting elements. Beams interact themselves. Uh, particles in one beam interact with the other particles in the same beam. Because we are uh, we, we, we make a group of particles in a beam or in a band, for example, uh, then <coughs> we accelerate the, this uh, beam, beam. So inside a beam, they can interact. Uh, what type of interaction uh, can occur? For example, Coulomb interaction uh, can occur because they are the same uh, particles, electrons, uh, repel each other. And we have to keep them uh, in a uh, <coughs> uh, focused uh, region. 
phase charge effect, uh, intra beam scattering and multi bank effect, uh, and then beam interacts also with the other beam. This one and that one. Uh, intra beam in the beam uh, yeah. reject. Right? This one. Uh, but this one is the basic one, and this one is the collective uh, one. All the particles, for example. Beams interact with other beams. Okay, one beam comes from one side and the other uh, comes from the other side. Uh, they can interact each other. Uh, or if we make them in a bunch structure, uh, it will also uh, interaction between them. But if they are, if they are uh, separated, well separated, uh, then these interaction can be kept uh, small. Uh, So, incoherent beam beam effects and coherent beam 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 effects, these are the uh, important uh, things for they, they uh, have to be studied uh, in the accelerator physics. Okay. Uh, for accelerator simulation, uh, we need <coughs> a machine part. Uh, for example, uh, an element M. Uh, it has a, it has an effect on the beam. Uh, for example, uh, one parameter one parameter comes in here and then goes out here. So the element change this uh, parameter. In general, uh, this is different, but in some special cases, it can be uh, the same. Okay, these elements can be uh, defined suitably uh, for computational purposes. For example, if we have uh, more elements, one, two, and uh, n elements uh, in an accelerator uh, structure, uh, so uh, their uh, combination uh, has an effect on the beam uh, as a total. Okay, uh, what is Z1 and Z2? Uh, they denote the uh, quantities, for example, coordinates, uh, beam sizes, uh, and other uh, beam parameters before and after the element. Uh, Z1 before and Z2 after the element. An element uh, for M is a mathematical object, then it defines, uh, uh, defined here. For example, Z2 is equal to M uh, operation on uh, Z1, for example, in general form. And the sequential element uh, set link the simulated parts and the beam uh, and the build the beam line. Uh, they can go further once, once more. Okay, an important quantity. Uh, <coughs> In accelerator physics, is also uh, the phase space, particle uh, <coughs> uh, are in a phase space uh, as shown here. Display, for example, uh, the area is uh, pi times the epsilon. Uh, epsilon is uh, a meter. Uh, <coughs> vertical and longitudinal uh, emitters. Vertical emitters can be uh, defined, and the beam emitters, as a, uh, as a formula here, is given by uh, dx dx prime uh, integrated over uh, the ellipse, and this gives us uh, pi times the epsilon. Uh, is a coordinate, uh, for example, x and x uh, x and x prime. Not x and y. Emittance is an uh, just an area uh, in this ellipse. Yes, yes. 
area is uh, defined phi times epsilon. Area over phi is the unit. Uh, if you in the test case, it's a It defines the area. Dh, dh times uh, dh prime uh, defines area. Prime. H prime is uh, an axis. Uh, in the, for example, in the plane. It has the dimension uh, of length, for example. You can say that. H prime is also the same. Yes. Like the y direction, but uh, it's in the phase space. Not the coordinate. In the coordinate. All we need uh, to make a simulation for the accelerator, uh, there are some uh, tools to design uh, accelerator parts. For example, uh, EGAN uh, for designing the electron source. Uh, Parmela is a program for beam dynamic simulation. Uh, Fish and uh, Poisson. They are used for uh, electric and the magnetic field uh, distribution and structure. Uh, NEDEX uh, is used for photostructures uh, at circular accelerator injector design uh, and determination of beta tram function and the suitability of the uh, <coughs> run region. Uh, it's uh, very useful uh, in the accelerator physics. Uh, Placet is a special program commonly used in uh, linear accelerator design and simulation studies, uh, especially studying weight fields uh, in linear uh, use. Uh, and the <coughs> output of these uh, programs can be uh, given in a uh, format uh, which is uh, read by another program. For example, uh, guinea pig is a uh, beam beam collision uh, simulation program, then it reads uh, the output of Placet program. So, we need uh, some of them uh, for making uh, from accelerators to uh, the particle physics uh, and detector uh, uh, signal search, for example, uh, we need to use uh, more uh, convenient programs. Uh, I want to uh, <coughs> explain some uh, of the accelerator terms. Uh, for example, bunch, interpeak, packet peak, uh, a group of particles entering some region uh, in the phase space. Uh, RF, what does it mean? Frequency of accelerator, accelerating field, electric field in the RF region. Transverse emittance, the area field by Particle beam in the phase space, uh, it's uh, unit millimeter uh, millirad, for example, it's a typical uh, unit. Injection, uh, we set a particle beam into the into an accelerator uh, by using this uh, structure. Injector, for example, is a uh, machine uh, to set the beam, uh, particle beam into an larger uh, accelerator structure. Uh, Linux, linear accelerator. A beam line, <coughs> a vacuum line uh, and magnet system that takes the particle beam from a part of accelerator to another part. Uh, and the cavity, 
is a volume uh, covered by conducting sphere uh, surface uh, uh, an accelerator unit resonating at a frequency equal to the beam current frequency. Uh, uh, the resonance, uh, resonance cavity uh, are used uh, especially to uh, inject the energy uh, to the beam uh, for further acceleration. Okay, uh, we come to the collision because in particle physics uh, we need collision and then uh, select some uh, processes, uh, then search uh, for the signal. So, uh, the collision point uh, is important here, uh, because it is in the detector, uh, two, uh, two, two accelerator structure for example, uh, comes uh, to the detector, uh, or uh, in a uh, in a circular accelerator, for example, uh, there is a uh, detector, then the collision point uh, is in the detector. Uh, so, we need the beam sizes at the uh, at this uh, point, for example, uh, they are given sigma h and sigma y, uh, they are the transverse beam uh, sizes. And they, they can be expressed in terms of the uh, transverse emittance. Uh, and the amplitude function beta. Beta is uh, de beta depends on the uh, uh, accelerator structure. For example, uh, depend on the uh, magnet system and the optics of the uh, accelerator. <coughs> it's given by uh, this formula. For example, sigma uh, proportional to epsilon times beta to the uh, Okay. Uh, what is the emittance? What was the emittance? Uh, <coughs> we have already uh, explained it. Beam quality uh, uh, quantity reflects the bunch uh, preparation process, mostly depend on synchrotron radiation. Normalized emittance is defined as epsilon over gamma. In accelerator physics, uh, they are commonly uh, <coughs> used in this form, epsilon over gamma. And the beta function uh, depends. They are all uh, relevant in the luminosity calculation uh, <coughs> of the collider because luminosity depends on uh, the number of particles in a bunch, for example, the collision frequency and the beam sizes. Uh, beam sizes also depends on the emittance. Then, uh, for calculating uh, the luminosity, we need uh, at the end uh, the good quality of the emittance. So, uh, to reach a high luminosity, uh, the requirement large number of particles, uh, low emittance, and high collision frequency. But their optimal value uh, can be determined from the simulation. Uh, without uh, simulation, it is uh, difficult to say uh, more uh, strongly. Uh, because there are many structures and beam quality and some other issues uh, uh, they are in the loop. Okay. Uh, beam size, <coughs> if they are flat beam, for example, uh, like this one, uh, in the vertical, uh, for example, this one, uh, sigma h, uh, sigma uh, g here, and the sigma y here. Uh, <coughs> And the vertical offset, <coughs> vertical offset uh, is denoted by delta y here. Uh, we have two beams, and uh, they will collide. Uh, so, 
uh, we can calculate the linear scale by using this uh, structure. Okay. Uh, okay. In the collider case, uh, we have a collider parameter. After beam parameters, uh, we have uh, collider parameters. <coughs> the most important thing, uh, one of the most important thing is the center of mass energy, uh, which is given by the, uh, for example, uh, center of mass energy squared uh, F, which is uh, also the Mandelstam uh, variable, uh, invariant, uh, which is this is invariant under Lorentz transformation. If two particles come in, uh, in the initial <coughs> state, then P1 plus P2 squared uh, is equal to this one. Uh, in the center of mass frame or center of momentum frame, uh, here uh, we set uh, the <coughs> P1 uh, vector plus P2 vector is equal to zero. Uh, then uh, we are in the center of momentum frame. Uh, the part, uh, the uh, S is equal to uh, E1 plus E2 squared in that case. Okay. And we can calculate this uh, formula. For example, uh, if we take the square of them, P1 square plus P2 square, uh, they, are, they are giving uh, N0 square and N2 square and plus uh, two pi one and uh, two uh, p one and p two, uh, and they are uh, multiplied in uh, four product uh, notation. In this case, and uh, we obtain uh, energy uh, production of energies and the uh, three vectors. So the total center of mass energy of the two particle system uh, is given by this formula: uh, center of uh, mass energy here. And 2 e, e1 or 2 e2 in the center of mass frame in that case. And in the fixed target frame, for example, uh, e2 vector is equal to 0. Then we are moving uh, to, uh, uh, onto, the, onto one of the particle. Let's say a second particle, this one. So this, one, uh, this uh, shows the center of mass energy. Okay. Another one. Another important parameter is the luminosity, which is the number of particles interacting at a point. For example, uh, in unit transverse area and time. Uh, <coughs> in fact, uh, particle beams uh, come uh, in bunch uh, bunch structure, uh, as seen here. For example, this is one bunch and another bunch and another bunch. Uh, and there is uh, N1 uh, particles in one bunch and N2 particles in another bunch. They collide. Uh, so uh, we can calculate the luminosity uh, by using this formula. Luminosity is proportional to the fre collision frequency. Uh, and the number of particles in the bunch. And the inverse proportionality with the uh, transverse beam size, sigma x and sigma y. Okay. The other uh, parameter for the collision uh, reaction rate, R, which is the number of scattering events per unit time. Uh, and it is uh, proportional to the luminosity uh, and the cross section given by this for formula, for example. Here, epsilon uh, is not emitted, uh, it's the efficiency uh, factor. Uh, we can multiply uh, cross section and the luminosity uh, and the uh, efficiency uh, factor here to find uh, the reaction rate or the number of events. Okay. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, the unit of the uh, luminosity is used in uh, 
inverse uh, Picoba or uh, Santoba because it is defined per year. For example, uh, shown here, one Santoban, uh, one inverse Santoban per year uh, means. Santo do 32 uh, inverse uh, centimeter square and inverse uh, second. So if we know uh, the part uh, the uh, <coughs> collider luminosity, for example, in uh, one over uh, centimeter square and uh, one over uh, second, so we can translate it uh, into <coughs> inverse centoban per year, for example. Uh, how can we do that? Uh, we can transform the unit uh, <coughs> inverse uh, area, uh, inverse centimeter square, to the, uh, for example, uh, uh, bar uh, or pico bar or nano bar or santo bar, uh, and then multiply the uh, collision uh, time or running time of the collider in one year. So. Uh, then the one second corresponds to, uh, for example, uh, 10 to the minus uh, 7 uh, uh, year. In one year, the time uh, 10 to the uh, 7 uh, second. Yes. Uh, okay, there are some collider uh, parameters main parameters, these are the main parameters, uh, Tevatron, uh, Hera, uh, LHC, ILC, Click. Which one, uh, <coughs> which one is uh, working at the moment? None of them, because of the Christmas break. <laughs> Yearly shutdown, maybe yes. Uh, but Tevatron uh, <coughs> uh, still working. Hera uh, is closed. Uh, LSC uh, working. Uh, ILC not started. Click not started. Okay. Uh, two lines. Uh, <coughs> the last two lines uh, uh, shows uh, the linear collider which are in the range uh, from uh, 0.5 to 1 to EV for uh, ILC, for example. This is the luminosity value uh, and the <coughs> beam energy spread, 0.1% uh, uh, and the collision frequency uh, in megahertz and the number of uh, particles in band. So the, maybe the polarization uh, Possible uh, in <coughs> with these beams, uh, sixty percent for positron and the eighty percent for uh, elect electron. Uh, but it's an uh, optimistic uh, uh, case. Click has also sorry one question. Uh, click has also uh, the energy range uh, <coughs> in this one, uh, but uh, the preferred one uh, is three TeV for the center of mass energy, uh, the similar uh, parameters are given there, so as well. Yes. Uh, polarization, uh, for example, if we have uh, two beams, uh, sorry, uh, can you ask uh, one more? Uh, principally, no, there is no effect, but uh, we have to understand it uh, correctly. In the initial state, we have two beams, for example, uh, an electron beam and positron beam. So we can uh, polarize the beams, which means 
electron you have fermion, then uh, you have two uh, uh, two strings, uh, left-handed or right-handed. Okay. If it is possible to polarize it, for example, with 50 percent for positron, for example, uh, and the electron in 80 percent. Okay. Then they will interact. At, a, at one point, then it uh, goes into an interaction uh, of the standard model, for example. But in the standard model, weak interactions, uh, for example, such weak interactions occur in the left handed uh, part, not the right handed part. Okay? Uh, in this case, uh, it affects the uh, number of events at the end, not the number of particles uh, in the bunch at that point, right? Yes, yes. Because the number of events depends on the cross section and the luminosity, uh, but for the luminosity is also a, a good issue. Uh, which has to be studied, uh, what's the effect of the polarization on the luminosity, for example? It's a good question, uh, but uh, it has to be uh, studied in uh, detail with a simulation uh, study. Okay, uh, but we know approximately uh, what uh, the value can be. This is the luminosity spectrum uh, of the uh, <coughs> collider depending on, depending on the center of mass energy. So, what does it mean? If we have a collider, then we will have a we will have one center of mass energy and one luminosity value. We can say that, but uh, it's not all the uh, story because. The beam has an uh, energy spread, and the center of mass energy uh, can uh, can change due to the uh, some emission of uh, photon in the initial state. For example, if two particles comes in in the initial state, then in that case they can radiate uh, energy, uh, and the uh, the uh, center of mass energy will change, for example, uh, <coughs> e to e prime, okay, uh, which is uh, which depends on the uh, energy carried by the uh, radiation. So, uh, <coughs> but uh, in the certain uh, energy, uh, the luminosity peaks uh, on that uh, value. So in physical applications, we can use uh, we can use some uh, portion of the luminosity spectrum. For example, in uh, one percent uh, in the energy scale. So, so uh, collision point simulations uh, can be done uh, with the program. Uh, for example, guinea pig, uh, cane, uh, and spheres. Guinea pig is used uh, for uh, beam, uh, beam, beam uh, effect. Uh, also, it includes the beam strahlung. Uh, you have uh, you have uh, heard about uh, initial state radiation uh, and the beam strahlung and the spectrotron radiation uh, and some other uh, radiation. They are uh, they are all uh, different in uh, in their origin, uh, but uh, they have to be uh, take they have to be taken into account uh, at the beginning. Beam parameters can be given to directly to get the luminosity. Collision uh, can be performed with input beam file. Uh, Kane can do these uh, in a 
different uh, with the different options for example uh, e gamma 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 options uh, and the luminous spectrum can be obtained uh, from this program uh, and sys is also used uh, for the beam radiation uh, spectrum okay that what we have learned uh, from this lecture uh, let me uh, remind you types of accelerators motion of a particle in the electric and magnetic field, uh, beam properties, quantities, emittance, beta amplitude function, interaction point, center of mass energy, event rate, luminosity, uh, initial state radiation, which is the radiation uh, uh, for the initial beam before the collision, a beam stralum, then two beams uh, comes uh, into uh, one point, then their field, their field effect uh, has, has an effect on the other beam. Uh, that's why uh, uh, beam stralum is an important uh, uh, thing. Yes. No, yes, not them. Beam stralum is a different uh, is a different uh, thing. For example, uh, if a beam uh, comes to uh, the collision point, then uh, when uh, when it's uh, when it uh, go uh, comes to the interaction point, uh, our uh, accelerating structure uh, makes it, uh, for example, uh, uh, focus. very focused region, then uh, it reduces, okay? The origin of the uh, beam stralum can be <coughs> considered as the, uh, as the uh, for example, uh, focusing process. The electric lines uh, or uh, magnetic lines will be different in that point, then uh, it can uh, uh, reduce. Uh, and the beam energy spread and the lumino lim uh, and the spectrum calculators uh, spectrum calculators are useful uh, for further uh, uh, simulations uh, such as if we use uh, PTR uh, for event generation then uh, for a linear collider uh, we have to uh, supply the uh, spectrum of the collider to the PTR and then uh, event uh, and then uh, event generation uh, is the uh, right uh, uh, step. Okay. Thanks. Oh, there is an homework. Uh, you can uh, try at the evening. In this homework, uh, everything is clear, I think. If there is an uh, unclear thing, then you can ask me uh, in uh, some break. Sorry? Boost? Ah, yes, boost, okay. Uh, boost parameter is like a, <coughs> a, trans a translation, uh, for example, uh, from one point to another point. We are moving uh, one particle uh, from one point to another particle, then uh, they are boosted. But what does it mean in the collision? Uh, it means that, for example, if one particle has uh, 8 GeV energy and then the other one is 3.5 GeV, then their energies are not symmetrical. Uh, there is an asymmetry in energy. So uh, when they collide uh, and they produce uh, a resonant particle, okay? Oh, yes, uh, it's the motion of the center of mass, for example. Yes. Ah, peak. Okay. We, uh, Luminosity has a peak at the 
uh, nominal center of mass energy. For example, if uh, we say that the center of mass energy is 3 TeV, then at 3 TeV, uh, we will get the uh, peak uh, of the luminosity. Peak value is uh, used sometimes in the parameter list, but uh, in reality, we have a spread, beam, beam spread, the beam energy spread. That's why uh, the uh, correct one and uh, it should be uh, studied uh, because uh, because of the uh, fact that the beam has an energy spread. Uh, that's the reason. In that case. The luminosity spectrum uh, will not be only uh, will not be only a single peak, for example. Then it will spread over uh, the center of mass energy. If we take, for example, uh, one percent of the energy, then we can use the physical luminosity. Okay. Of course, it's a uh, plot. Uh, it should be because uh, it should be uh, on the beam uh, beam structure. So, uh, if we integrate uh, integrate uh, all the region, then uh, we will get the total luminosity. For example, uh, total luminosity and the peak luminosity is different. Neutrinos are not X-ray. Yes, but oh yes.
other questions, comments? Okay.